Look at my sweet girls. We've got Reese laying in the hay pile. We've got Pecan. Oh, Apple just joined. We've got Velvet laying in the hay pile. And little Ray having a drink. She's the loudest drinker. She taps the ball so loud. So cute watching these guys all just eating together. The little happy piggies. So Annabelle is one week post-op from her spay and everything is looking awesome. So the outside of her incision already looks like totally healed, which is crazy. I swear skinny pigs heal way faster. What do you think? How are you feeling? She's just the cutest little thing. A little guinea pig slash rat. Kind of a mousy ratty face. Little bug eyes, pointy nose. You're adorable. Are you coming out? She needs her nails clipped. But I wanted to wait until, you know, she's healed a bit more before I'm holding her to clip her nails. So maybe next week. Front ones are kind of looking a bit long, sweetie. So that's awesome. So I look forward to see how her personality changes. Well, I guess I shouldn't say personality, but her demeanor. So I'm hoping she'll kind of be out a bit more and a bit calmer. She's already been over talking to her sister, which is something I haven't seen in a very long time. So that's positive. Whether those two will ever go back together remains to be unseen, but we never know. At least this little girl will now be able to stop rumbling and whining and stuff like she was doing before with her hormones. So that's positive. So her life is going to be stress free. It's just a matter of will she be back in the same cage as her sister. Which I would just love to have no divider here so that they both have a lot more room. And then Annabelle would be able to be more social seeing these guys and she'd be able to see a bit of the herd. So we'll see. Hello Annie. How are you? Annie has just become just a little love muffin. She just adores you to pet her and she will sit here forever and ever. I've never had her leave yet. It's always just I stop petting her and then that's how it ends. Otherwise I probably would be here all night. Who a nice sweetheart. She's just become so lovable. Hey baby. And she's got a little bit of extra fuzz on her shoulders here. Her and Angus both um, kind of go in and out of being extra fuzzy. You're so sweet. Sometimes she will do like the shake after you've finished petting her like as if she, you've put human germs on her. Are you going to do it? Why are you twitching that ear? What's up with it? You got a shake? What's up? Is something in your ear? I don't see anything. Does something feel funny? Do you have hay in there or what? There you go. I'll have to check her ear a little bit closer, maybe with a flashlight. Maybe she's got some hay down in there. She's twitching her ear funny. We will check that out in a minute. So I took Annie out to check in her left ear. And sure enough, can you guys see it twitching every once in a while? She has three small pieces of hay in her ear canal just poking out. So this is not something that I can even grab because you'd need tweezers to get these out and obviously you can't be going in close to their ear canal with tweezers as they shake and move their head. So I tried using a q-tip with coconut oil to kind of like swipe and look like it's not going to happen. So I guess we are going to have to see if we're able to get a vet appointment 
she would probably have to be sedated a little bit so that they can grab them out. And if you guys remember, her son had this as well. He His piece looked way bigger, but it was sticking out of his ear canal. And it was very painful for him when I touched it because it was a lot longer piece. So I had to take him to the vet and they gave him a bit of sedation and took it out. So things are a little crazy right now with, you know, the virus going around and places being locked down and all of that. So I hope we'll be able to get in because this is not something I can fix on my own. So luckily she's acting normal otherwise, but obviously that's going to be super annoying for her and she keeps twitching her ear so it's bugging her. So I'll see what I can do. I know my vet clinic's open. Just hopefully they have time and will be able to fit us in. I know there's extra precautions that they have, but hopefully this will class as something that's okay to be seen for. It's always something with piggies. So this is why you should always get used to what's normal for your pigs. Because as soon as I was looking at her and she's twitching her ear funny, I just thought, that's really odd. So I'll keep you guys updated about that. Okay, who would like the urinary tab? Greasy beer? Goby. There's my pretty girl. Good girl. Where's Hucky? Little oh, Ray Ray? Oops, I just threw it at you. Ray Ray, I'm sorry. Come here. Here Ray. I'm sorry. Come here. I didn't mean to. Good girl. Where's Tubbies? Okay, just because you're so cute, you can have the other piece. And now it's time to tidy. I'm back from work. And we've got lots of poopies. Did you finish yours already? You chew those so fast. She chews a whole one right in her mouth. Where the other guys always want them split in half or quarters. How do you do it? Mm hmm Little chomper. Hey, Reese Beer. That was my gorgeous girl. How are you doing? Off we go. Fuck me in. There's tubbies. You missed the little tabs. I didn't know where you went. Sorry. Did you poop on there? Did you poop in the cuddle cup? It's a big mess. Was that you? I think so. Yeah? You didn't mean to. I don't know. Hey, Billy. What are you doing, baby? So the other day, Velvet was smooching with Huckle. They are both cleaning each other's ears and the side of their face. It was so cute. And then Velvet was popcorning and she got all goofy. So I think they're in love. She actually um, hangs out with Huckle quite a bit. She is able to lay right beside him while they're eating hay. So, yep, they've been caught smooching. Lately, Velvet's been really good. She's been super happy. Like, just in a really playful, silly mood. I was just cleaning the cage, like, just doing spot cleaning this morning, and she was popcorning around, like, zooming from one side of the cage to the other. So, she is feeling good, which is adorable. Obviously, it means a lot with knowing that she has that hernia, that she is not bothered by it. Everybody else has been doing pretty good as well. Um, Apple, there's sometimes lately where she's been doing a bit of a painful pee and it's off and on whether her lady parts look a little sore with a crack in them or not. So if you guys didn't know, like she had to have bladder stones removed from her urethra and then she had a crappy yeast infection 
that really e irritated her lady parts. And it's been since then that it's been quite the struggle to get her looking back to 100%. So what I do for her is Epsom salt soak. So I put some Epsom salts in some warm water and soak her in the tub. Do that maybe once a week or so and check her bum every single night and try to keep her tidy. It's kind of been a lot of work to make sure she's comfortable, but I just take it day by day and do what I can. And if she seems uncomfortable for peeing, I give her Medicam. She did still have that one stone the last time we did an x-ray that looked like it was in the exact same spot up in her urethra. So they didn't know whether it was kind of stuck in the lining and not going to come out, like kind of embedded. So I don't know if that bothers her sometime, but once all the insanity with the world right now is over, I probably will take her back for another health check at the vet, maybe another x-ray soon, just to check what's going on. Otherwise she's acting normal, it's just... Every once in a while I catch her kind of being sore to pee, but it could be because she has like the splits in her skin around her lady parts and I imagine pee touching that burns, so we're just doing what we can. I just love like when all the pigs are piling in the hay together. The herd always makes me so happy. Is it time to tidy your bum apple? I gotta pick you up. It's talking. Are you mad? I gotta get you. It's time. Good girl, come on. Hi. Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me for cleaning your bum bum? Sorry, I just had hair that was like poking by your eye. Do you forgive me? Oh, we're laying down, so I think we do. Look, it's your boyfriend. Who I saw smooching Velvy. What do you think about that? Hopefully you don't care. You little ladies man, Hucky. What are you doing with all those ladies? And smooching. What do you think, Apple? Is that crazy? You guys are so cute. Love you. Yes, I do. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!